So this question is on empirical rule. And for empirical rule right now, we do not know the normal calculator. So you would do this like by sketching out the normal distribution. Okay, take a look. You would draw like a bar and then like a, a fit a curve. Okay, oh, not like that. It looked like that Snapchat ghost, okay? And put the mean in the middle, 1500. You go three to the right, one, two, three, by adding the standard deviation. So if you do 1500 plus 200, you are at 1700. 1700 plus 200 is 1900. And then um, if you add another 200, you will go to 2100. Now you go to the left by subtracting 200, but you go three to the left. One, two, three. Subtract 200, you get 1300, 1100, and you are down to 900. You just do three to the right and three to the left. And this is what the empirical rule is talking about within one standard deviation. So from 1300 to 1700, there lies, um, 95% of the data, okay? There is, uh, what did I just say? 95, no, 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 68% of the data. I think I said the wrong number. But yes, in between 1300 and 1700, there lives 68% of the data. Is that what they wanted? Let me take a look. Um, A is asking you for in between 13 and 1700, right? So we know that the percentage they want is 68%. Notice they gave you uh, the number of farm in the sample is 79. So what you have to do is find what is 68% of 79. And you can do this by doing 0 0.68 times 79. So let me get my calculator up. 0 0.68 times 79. That comes out to be 53.7. I will round that up because seven is bigger than five. So my final answer will be 54 farms. So about 54 farms will be in between 1300 and 1700. All right, let's do another one. Um, if 27 additional farms were sampled, about how many of these additional farms would you expect to have land and building values between 1300 and 1700 per acre? So notice that we're not changing the percent of the percentage here, right? We're still looking at 68% because they're talking about still 1300 to 1700. But now we have more farms, okay? So let me see. We're still doing 68% of how many farms? Let's see. I mean, they used to have 79 farms, but they are getting 27 more farms. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to do 79 plus 27. That's how many farms we got this time. So let me do 79 plus 27. That comes out to be 106. So let's find 68% of 106 farms this time. So do 0 0.68 times 106. What's that going to be? Luna, 8 times 106 equals. So that's about 72 farms. So we now need to compare. Um, what's the difference between 72 farms and the number we got earlier, the 54 farms? Because remember, before we added new farms, we had only 54 farms uh, that are in between this uh, range, right? So find the difference by doing 72 minus 54. 72 minus 54. That comes out to be about 18. So my final answer will be 18 here. All right, and I think that's it. And you know, next chapter, I'll show you how we can use a thing called normal calculator to find these 68%. Because right now, we just have to memorize that in between one standard deviation, there are 68%. Um, and that's what the empirical rule is. We start with 68% for the one standard deviation point. 
and you stretch out to 95% when you are doing two standard deviation. And if you go all the way out to like, ooh, where did that go? To three standard deviation, like from 900 to 2100, then you're looking at 99.7%. For this particular problem, we were just looking at the one standard deviation marks, okay?